Welcome ladies and gentlemen. IMF World Bank are the owners of William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza government budget finance bill. As I was just reading a certain news from Business Daily, I realized something that was very crucial. <laughs> I wanted you also to understand whatever is happening as IMF, World Bank, are the owners of Ruto's 3.68 trillion budget. This is something that I told you in a certain video I analyzed in this channel. And I told you that a terrible mistake that William Ruto is doing is to associate himself too much with IMF and World Bank. And remember, if you are a president of a country, then you associate yourself by having too much loans from IMF and World Bank, these two, they always manipulate and exploit an economy of a certain or different countries that they fund. According to the Treasury Cabinet Minister Njuguna Ndugu on Thursday, as he was reading his first budget speech that had fingerprints of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank, it is a signal of course that William Ruto is keen to implement the stringent conditions that came with loans from the Britain Woods institutions. Of course, the 129-page budget sought to explain for us, number one, the motivation behind the far-reaching revenue-raising plan that will see the state adopt various policies from the two Washington-based institutions that Kenya agreed to implement, including increasing value-added tax VAT on fuel to 16%. And when I was just looking at this issue and this news, is that also various items were removed from zero rating list. Remember, zero rating list. And now, which this means that they will start being charged the 16% sales tax measures that has always been favored by the World Bank. There is not something that is new. We understand that these are the issues that always affect a country. When you look at our country, Kenya is passing something called a very weak economy stature as the foreign institutions that is lending money to the country that are coming with their conditions, their measures and their rules. But in particular, I want to single out certain multilateral institutions that is affecting the economy of the Republic of Kenya. As William Ruto, during his campaign period, these are the institutions that William Ruto said that was derailing the economy of the Republic of Kenya. But after he has already uh, he has already taken over from Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. These are the multilateral institutions that are affecting our economy with their conditions in the name of assisting, destabil, uh, of course, stabilizing the economy. And this, specifically the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, the European Union, the African Development Bank, and the many bilateral donors, institutions, and governments that have walked the journey of social 
economic transformation, so-called economic transformation uh, with Kenya. But simple question. As the government expect to collect an additional of 50 billion Kenya shillings from the 8% VAT on fuel, helping it narrow the budget deficit from 4.4% of gross domestic product, GBT, GDP, as it had been promised by the IMF. So simple thing here is that the economy of the Republic of Kenya is being controlled by multilateral institutions or rather uh, many bilateral donors simply like IMF, World Bank, European Union and African Development Bank. So it is not something that William Ruto is telling us that it is him who is controlling the economy. This budget is not for William Ruto. This budget is not for William Ruto and that is why it reached even at a point that coming out to threaten those members of parliament whom are going to reject the bill or rather the finance bill. It is a very powerful message that we are getting that this budget of Kenya Kwanzaa is not owned by them. It is owned by the World Bank, by the International Monetary Fund IMF, by the European Union and by the African Development Bank and other many bilateral institution donors. This is where we are. As William Ruto is bragging that Africa or rather African countries should be independent to make only the country that he is the president to be independent is a big problem. Why can't William Ruto came out or oh, why is he now lying to African Union or rather the African Parliament when he is addressing these issues that we are being captured with certain European countries then himself is being captured in his own country as the President of the Republic of Kenya. So these programs which so called by this bilateral and multilateral institutions which aim aim to stabilize an economy it is not true they just have their their, their, their interest and their interest is that one as they are assisting you donating their funds you must abide with their rules you must abide with their conditions you must abide with their measures and that is where we are that is where we are so i'm so curious if the restructuring of kenyan economy now it is the multilateral institutions or donors who are owning the economy of a country like this as William Ruto himself is saying that as days goes by things are going to be normal I want to tell you things will not go normal the way you think it because when you look at this finance bill 2023 through which states intends to generate over 211 billion in additional revenues has passed the second reading stage in National Assembly amid its sharp differences between the majority and minority sides. In fact, this budget bill of 2023, the government itself does not even know what entails inside it. They don't know. I know some people will tell me how is it that they don't know and themselves that the one that drafted this bill budget finance bill i want to tell you a secret that is why some bigger percentage of members of parliament who are saying yes to this finance bill they have not read they have not understood whatever it is inside the bill 
And that is what we are seeing. So as days goes by, we are going to face a very um, pathetic kind of life, we as Kenyans, as our country has been subjected to the multilateral institutions, or rather donors, who are coming with their conditions, with their measures, towards stabilizing the economy of our country. I thought like William Ruto understood what was best for our country, but it seems like he is selling our country to other specific multilateral individuals, institutions, or rather donors, who are coming to exploit our economy in the name of stabilizing our economy. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye.